I'm joined by Uri from uh, Hanwha. How are you, Uri? I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. So nice to have you here. Um, tell me a little bit about what Hanwha Tech do. Right. So Hanwha Tech Win is part of Hanwha Group. Uh, Hanwha Group is a huge Korean company. It's uh, part of uh, global Fortune 500. Hanwha Tech Win is uh, a CCTV manufacturer. So we produce cameras and we provide solutions, uh, total solutions for uh, physical security. Um, and we have a range of uh, very high-end products, including uh, entry-level affordable products for any use case and any type of customer. Well, before we get started into some of the incredible stuff that you're showcasing here, why is it so important for you to be at this incredible exhibition? Yeah, so IFSEC is a great show. It's uh, one of the biggest in, uh, in Europe. It's uh, very important for us to uh, showcase our newest uh, products and our newest solutions, and also to showcase our partner solutions. Uh, we have uh, quite a few very interesting uh, um, solutions that uh, we uh, showcase together with our technology partners. And this is a brilliant opportunity to actually have such an exposure to that uh, kind of uh, audience. Um, I mean, and you have some incredible partners that are all here with us today. What is it about the future of this technology? How is it progressing year on year? Yeah, so uh, we have quite a few uh, technology trends uh, happening these days. Uh, one of which is AI and deep learning. So we're uh, introducing a new AI camera that uh, would provide uh, a platform for our partners to develop various sophisticated uh, AI solutions based on video. So how far in advance are, the, are your partners getting this technology so they can go on and create an end product? Right, so we work very closely with our technology partners and we share with them our roadmap and our plans and we have workshops to actually work on maximizing the opportunity that the new technology actually provides us. Uh, Uri, we've got to go and have a little look at some of the stuff that you guys have. Let's let's make our way. It's very busy at the show already today. Day number one. Let's see if we can fight through. Sorry, sir. Let's see if we can... Boss coming through. Come this way, Uri. <clears throat> well, maybe we can start at the first of the, of the exhibits here. Talk me through this, because this is uh, clearly a multi-camera system. Yeah, so the P-Series is uh, our high-end... Uh camera's uh, line, it uh, supports 4K resolution, which is uh, very important in some scenarios, and also it uh, facilitates uh, multi-sensor or multi-directional cameras, including two lens models and four lens models, and even if you can reach over there, there's uh, a four sensors plus a pan -tilt zoom camera, so it covers actually every angle. And it's very good for use cases such as uh, safe cities, uh, big uh, shopping malls, and uh, it's really effective. That's incredible. So there is nothing that is unseen, literally. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Well, let's move across because you've got so much to have a little look at here. This is the X-Series. Yeah, the X-Series is our uh, extreme performance line. It uh, utilizes our uh, very powerful chipset WiseNet 5 and allows uh, video analytics, sound analytics, and a lot of uh, very high-end features, uh, including uh, the world's best uh, wide dynamic range, which is uh, 150 dB, it's pretty extreme. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. Um, if we go this way, this is all about making installation much more simple. So I'm guessing a lot of the end users are sort of going, this is all incredible, but now I need a, a GCSE and something to put it together. Right, so one of our uh, recent uh, launches of the X-Series is X+. Plus. This is uh, a camera that allows uh, reducing the labor costs by minimizing the time it takes to install the camera. It has a, a modular, um, modular structure. It's, as you can see here, it's magnetic, so you just stick it, and you can reduce the uh, installation time by uh, tens of percents which again, end user, saving money all the time with the products. Um, if we go over here, this is more affordable. So this is, this is a slightly cheaper range, but still keeping a quality. Exactly, our quality range, our WiseNet Q range is uh, cost effective, but without uh, compromising quality. So uh, we are uh, renewing our uh, Q series cameras uh, this year, and we're introducing a revised uh, version of the Q series cameras. Uh, just to make sure that uh, we uh, cover also the entry-level 
uh, needs and uh, without uh, reducing quality. And we're actually making the cameras smaller this year, so they are more suitable for uh, use cases such as uh, retail. Wow, so again, smaller, smaller retail departments can now have those cameras as well without it being kind of taking over the entire store. Exactly. Let's go to this final one. Oh, we've got someone here, but this is the thermal. This is very exciting stuff. So talk me through this. Right, so we have more and more demand for thermal uh, image uh, uh, cameras. This is becoming more affordable and uh, is really becoming a trend, especially to run video analytics on board the thermal camera, which is very accurate and very uh, effective. So we're introducing a couple of new cameras. We already launched earlier this year the uh, thermal, thermal, uh, thermal radiometry camera, which uh, basically can alert whenever uh, a temperature uh, in, in the scene it goes above the threshold. And we're also introducing a more uh, affordable thermal camera uh, later this year with QVGA uh, resolution. This line is VGA resolution and uh, we see a lot of uh, demand for uh, lower resolution, more uh, affordable thermal cameras because uh, customers uh, such as retailers and warehouses, they also uh, start to rely on thermal imaging. And just before I let you go, Uri, what's the future of technology for security? That's a really good question. So Just so we can go in together and we can get very rich very quickly. Right. <laughs> so I think uh, AI is really the future of, uh, video, of uh, video surveillance. Uh, we'll see more and more uh, devices starting to get to be more and more smart and to be, to be more capable on, on actually running more sophisticated uh, algorithms, communicating with each other, and the edge is starting to be very important. So most of the current AI solutions are server-based. We believe in the future of making the, the edge devices smarter so that you don't really need a server. It's more affordable and uh, has its own advantages. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you next year because I can't wait to see what you guys bring. Yuri, thank you so much. Thank you.